Hey everyone, my name is Shay, and today we're going to automate the process of running the scripts we made in the last two videos. Uh, if you recall, we did some web scraping using Pandas, and then we used Pandas Data Reader to get some real-time stock prices for that scraped data. So automating those will save me a lot of time, and hopefully you can apply it somewhere in your life as well. So first off, sorry if you hear an echo in the background or any background noise. I'm recording in the middle of Atlanta in a less than ideal area at the moment, uh, so, so I apologize for that. So this hopefully should be a pretty quick video, and let's talk about what we're going to learn today. The first thing we're going to learn about batch files and like echo and working with virtual environments in the batch files. And then we're going to do some Windows task scheduling. And finally, we'll learn a little bit about Tableau and connecting to the data source and then refreshing that connection on a daily basis. So first, uh, thank you all so much for the support on the previous videos. It's really great to see that you guys are finding some helpful information in this series. If you see a way to improve on something I do in this video, then just let me know in the comments. And if you learn something, uh, please help me out and leave a like on YouTube. If nothing else, it makes me feel good, which takes minimal effort from you. So I would really, really appreciate that. So with that being said, let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is create a new file in my uh, insider info folder and we're going to call this run.bat and bat is the file extension for a batch file now a batch file is just a plain text file and it is a series of commands that the command line interpreter will run whenever this file is ran uh, so the first thing in this file we're going to type is an at symbol and then echo off and echo is a way that you'll see in a second that will print something to the console or for, to the command prompt for you. So if I say like echo starting script, and then I'm going to type pause so that that will stay up. Uh, let's save this, and I'm going to get the path of this. If I click up here and paste, I can go to that path very fast. And let me just run this and see what happens. So as you see here, it says starting script, and then that pause kept this window open so that I can see what happened. And then press any, any key to continue. When I press it, it will close out of that script. Very cool. So now I need to first give it a command. So when I run this in the morning, I need to make sure that I'm in the right directory. So let's get this path again. And we will CD into that directory. This is just like I was giving the command line um, some prompt. I just right did cd for change directory and then the directory I want it to go to. We put that in this text file and it will run it for us. And then now when we're in here, uh, we're going to actually go into our virtual environment where all the libraries that we're, we'll be using for our Python scripts are held. So to get there, uh, it's the insider vinv. And then we want to go to the scripts. And then Right here, we're going to write python.exe, and that will use the version of Python or the executable version of Python that is held within that scripts folder inside that virtual environment that will give us access to all the different libraries we've installed. And I want to give that Python something to run, so I will give it the file that we created in a previous video, the last video, right? Prices.finish.py. So a space here and then prices finished.py. Finally, I will write echo and let myself know that the script ran successfully. Okay, and that's it, very simple. So if I save this, I'm going to now run it and see what happens. Actually, first, let me uh, delete these two files here. And so when I run this, those two files should be created. It lets me know that we're starting the script, and then in about 10 seconds or so, it will have web scraped the data from the Insider Arbitrage website. Yep, 11 seconds. And you can see the file was just created here called Insider. And now it's going to go out and use the Pandas Data Reader library to get some real-time stock data added on to this file. Hopefully it takes around 30 seconds or so. Wow, 28 seconds. Script ran successfully. 
Now uh, I have this insider prices file. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's done. Now we need to have that run every single morning at a specified time. And to do that, we are going to use what is called task scheduler. This is only on Windows. On Mac, I'm pretty sure it's called Automator. I think that's correct. So we're in here in the task scheduler program, and we're going to create a task. We're gonna name it trading. And then we're gonna go over to our actions. Our actions, and we're gonna create a new action. And what we wanna do here is get the full path to this run.bat. So over here, it's right here, run.bat. If I hold shift, I think, and then right click, I can copy this path. Back here, I will paste that path in. So the program, the script I wanted to run, uh, that's not it. It is run.bat. I want it to go to this directory. I think this is right. Video space insider info run.bat. Video space insider info run.bat. Perfect. I want to go to this directory and run this batch file. And then because we are creating these two um, insider prices and the insider Excel files or CSV files, then we should probably start in this directory. So I'm not sure if this is completely necessary, but we're going to do it just because I know it works. So we'll start in this directory, hit OK. And then we're going to go to our triggers and create a new trigger. And we want this to run on a schedule. So you see a lot of different options here. We want it to run daily. We're gonna to start today. And I'm actually going to have it run at 9.30 just so we can see what happens when it runs. And I want to repeat the task every hour. None of this really matters to me. And yeah, I think we're good to go. Hit OK, hit OK. And so at 9.30 p.m. every day, this task will run. And I'm of course going to go in and alter this later myself to have it run at a better time. But let's wait till 9.30 and see what happens. Okay, it's 9.30. You can see the script just started. And then it will run through and finish up just like it did before. So I want to cancel that. Yeah, so now it's automated. So at 9.30 p.m. every night, it's going to go and run that script for me. And that's going to be really good. I'm going to go over to Tableau now because that's where we're going to actually see all this data. Okay, I'm running a little older version of Tableau, but that'll be fine here. I'm going to connect to a file. I need to connect to more. And I want to connect to this insider prices file. Hit open. And there's all my data. Okay, so because I'm connected to this insider prices file, if anything changes in that file, then this entire data set will also change. And what we just did by automating that task will then change that file every time that that script runs. So the next time that script runs at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow, then this file will be changed and I will see that result in, or the, the changes resulting here over in Tableau. If at any point, let's say, so here's what the workflow is gonna look like. I wanna come uh, to my computer, I'm going to open up Tableau and I'm going to go and hit this refresh button. And then I should see all my new data or you can go to, I think data, refresh data source and the same thing happens. So now I'm over here, I can start messing around, like throwing my symbols in, throwing like the current price as of right now. And yeah, so on and so forth. So this is also a sum. Uh, one thing I should do here is probably use this index column. For, let me move it up here to my uh, dimensions. I threw that before, and now I get the current price for Levi, Excel, I don't know what that is actually, but yeah guys, so hopefully you learned something from that and can apply that to different areas of your life. If you enjoyed this video and want to see the next part where we actually build out the entire dashboard, then I would encourage you to subscribe or just keep checking my channel, I guess, but that'd be very inconvenient for you. And if you're watching this video, I know you're all about automation, so probably the best way to do that. So I hope you found something useful in this video. I really appreciate your time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.